Today, we are going to take a look at the HIPAA method for primary source document analysis. So, what are primary documents? Well, primary documents are documents produced during the historical period under consideration and include things like government records, letters, speeches, diaries, merchants' account books, literature, pictures, and the like. Primary documents are central to historical study and enable historians to get as close as possible to what actually happened during a historical event or time period. A primary source reflects the individual viewpoint of a participant or observer, and accordingly, primary sources serve as the best reflections of the past we have. However, no single primary source gives historians a completely or totally unbiased picture, as each has its perspective, value, and limitations. Thus, it is imperative to critically analyze primary documents in order to gain a useful and coherent picture of the past, and today, we're going to use the HIPPO method to do exactly that. Each letter of the word HIPPO stands for a different step in the process. H. Historical context. We need to explain the events, ideas, and views present around the period the document was produced. We need to ask when or where was the document created, what was going on in that particular time and place, and how does this document represent that era or time period. I. Intended audience. We need to ask who is the primary audience? Is there a reason the author targeted that audience? And how might that influence the credibility or accuracy of the source? P. Purpose. We need to ask, why was the document produced? Did the author have ulterior motives? In producing the document, what was the author trying to accomplish? P. Point of view. We need to try and understand the author's biases, interpretations, and feelings. We need to ask, who is the author? What do they believe or want? What is the author's race, gender, age, ethnicity, or religion? Do we know anything about the author's personality? O. Organization. This is the final step in the process and helps us determine where this document fits in with our understanding of the historical period under consideration. We need to ask, how could this document be used to support or oppose a thesis? Does this document fit our historical argument? How would you use this document in an essay? Do you notice any biases, strengths, or limitations to the use of this document? And there we have it, HIPAA. Historical context, intended audience, purpose, point of view, and organization. The HIPPO method for primary source document analysis will be a valuable tool in your historical skill set going forward, and if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to ask me tomorrow in class.